Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm excited for you to see the St. Patrick's Day card that I'm gonna be stamping today. This card really is done at first, you know, with the rain, it's the rainbow set. So it's like all these wonderful rainbow colors. I'm gonna use this stamp set, the Rainbow of Happiness, but I'm gonna do it in our greens, the Shaded Spruce, the Garden Green, and Old Olive, and of course, Gold. So this is gonna be an awesome card because we did a bunch of these same cards. The Stamparatus worked so amazingly to do them quickly. If you like doing multiple cards, the Stamparatus is for you. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do this card with the Stamparatus. So you can just do it because this is a photopolymer stamp set, you can do it with the regular blocks and it will work out just fine. But if you wanna get it in the same area each time, the Stamparatus. So let's go ahead and start. I love how this stamp set has all these different sayings and I put these awesome clear acrylic things in here and this because we have the pad to use because we're using the photopolymer stamps. I'm going to get the stamps out that I'm going to use and it's basically all the stamps for the rainbow um, arches and then the, the saying itself from there. I'm using a five inch by three and three quarters basic white cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and put my magnets on these two edges because I'm going to go ahead and use my rainbow here and my saying right here. So in order to do this and you want to get it placed a certain way, I'm going to start with my biggest one first and place that in a spot where I want that to be and kind of you can eyeball it and know okay that's where I want the rainbow to start. So because I'm starting with the shaded spruce and then I kind of press this down so that's where it's going to be for that one. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and start with shaded spruce and just ink that up. because I'm only doing one thing in the shaded spruce color, it won't matter to, um, you know, where I have to reposition it or, or something. But the cool thing about this is, let's say I stamp it and it wasn't dark enough. It's like, oh, you just re-ink it up and that was perfect. Okay, the next color I'm using is garden green and that's the next arch of the rainbow. So I'm going to go ahead and eyeball it in there to make sure that that's where that goes. And that's also the same that I'm using too is in garden green. So I'm going to take my same and do it at the same time because it's like, why make it harder? So I'm going to have it and put the next arch of color, which is garden green. Press that down to get those stamps on there. And I'll push that back down. These magnets are pretty strong. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and ink that with the garden green. Just need to tap it on there so you get that garden green color on there. Press down with your hands, on, just right over the stamp. Okay, then you've got the garden green. Now the next color is going to be gold and then old olive. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the old olive first before I emboss. So I'm gonna take the small one, kind of eyeball it. Remember rainbows don't have to be perfect when you stamp them. They're all different. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over right here. So I'm using the back side of this and I'm going to pick up this little piece right here on, oops, on the back side. And once you've got these placed, it's just a matter of continually putting another piece of um, the basic white right here and just going over and over again and it's really quick to go ahead and ink those things up. 
and everything will be in the right place. So there's the old olive is the last color and then gold on top of that. Press down to get it even. Okay, we've got the old olive there. Okay, I'm gonna close those up so I don't get ink all on my fingers. Well, I always have ink on my fingers. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is the gold. So flip this side over because we're not using those stamps. Now, of course, you would just leave these stamps exactly where they're at because you're doing multiples. Okay, before I do anything else, I kind of want to go over this with, the, with our embossing buddy. I use the embossing buddy just to be able to make it so that things don't stick that you don't want to stick to your card while you're embossing but you can get that at a big box craft store okay now this will be the versamark color that i'm going to be which is no color so that the embossing powder will stick so make sure you have enough of that on there so your embossing will stick press down I'm just going to pull that up, slide this over, and pour that gold powder over. And it will stick right on that rainbow. That's going to be gold. Okay. After you're done doing your emboss, before you emboss, you can clean this up so when you do the heat gun, it doesn't go all over the place. Just set that over here. Take this and use an embossing gun. This one has two different speeds on it. And this just reminds me of St. Patrick's Day, especially with the gold on there. Get to see how it changes right in front of your eyes. Beautiful. Okay, now, of course, I have to use a ribbon. And we've got this gold ribbon here. So I'm just going to wrap this around. And just do a knot and look how I've got green all over my fingers and my card I should have washed my hands after I did the did the stamparatus so you'll get that if you wash your hands before you use go ahead and do the embossing all right let me trim these now I won't be pinched because I did my st. Patrick's Day card <laughs> you make me happy Okay, there are no mistakes. So even though we've got a couple little boo-boos on this, it's okay. Remember, these are hand done. And I'm going to put two inch piece on our regular cardstock. And this is garden green cardstock. And go ahead and put on some dimensionals to pop this up because we got to have it popped up. I just love things popped up. What can I say? I'm going to pop this up like so. And you've got your St. Patrick's Day card. You make me happy. So who wouldn't want to get a card like this for St. Patrick's Day? And the, they will feel lucky. Hope you've enjoyed our St. Patrick's Day card and all the information below if any of the products that I've used is in the link and we'll see you next time on watch a weekly wednesday <laughs>